So so anyway, yesterday, Fresh and Fit. L let's get into this. The the girl who was on there yesterday. Oh, is Fresh and Fit live right now? God damn, I love these thumbnails. They be having some bad bitches on here. Yo, chat. Yo, I, yo, fuck what they got going on. Let's look at the thumbnail. Let's rank who the baddest from left to right. We're not that from left to right. Who's the baddest right here? Chat. I need y'all to let me know. Pick out of all these chicks, who's the baddest? Who's the baddest right here? So let's see. Uh, the right? Hold on, hold on. I got to move the chat then. Hold on. Hold on, my bad. I ain't trying to move the chat, but chat, you over here. So shorty over the right is the baddest? Holy. Right here? Somebody said far right. Let me make sure y'all can see the cheekage. Holy. Holy. She the baddest? Somebody said Kwame Brown was a joke today. Yeah, I'm trying to get Kwame Brown on, on, on my show. He mentioned me a couple times, but like, I don't. Yo, Kwame Brown is like, what's that nigga's name? He's like Asan Campbell. Like, how do you get a hold of these dudes? Cause somebody took Kwame Brown. I'm trying to like, bro. I don't know what the fuck they be like beefing about, bro. Like, it's not that serious to me. Like, I just like interesting people, and I like all of them. I think they're all interesting. The two people I just can't get a hold of, and I've like tried twenty different ways of messaging them. Charleston White, Kwame Brown. Could y'all just come on my show, bro? Like, I get it. Y'all are like so like I don't call y'all old or whatever, but like y'all don't have contact info or nothing like that. But damn it, niggas. I want both y'all on my show. I want Charleston White, then I want Kwame Brown. I think you both are interested. I like, you know, y'all perspectives. I think, you know, I could add some valuable conversation, whether it's challenging y'all or kind of figuring it out. But we should fucking, I want to talk to y'all. Wouldn't that be a fire episode, chat? Somebody said get Gilbert Arenas. I hit Gilbert. Let me see. Where is Gilbert? Gilbert. I think Gilbert is in L.A. though. Get Lil Dirk. Yo, I'm working on it. Matter of fact. Matter of fact. I should. You want me to hit Dirk right now? I'm going to hit Dirk right now. Let me hit Dirk. I'm going to hit Dirk right now. Lil Dirk. Chat, you get to... By the way, I book everybody who comes on my show, you know? Sometimes people will throw, like, an option, be like, hey, do you want this person? Okay, I just messaged Dirk right now. I said, let's do my podcast around your album release. He's drop Dirk is dropping next week, Thursday, right? Or next week at some time? Somebody said reach out to Keith. Bro, listen, I reached out to Keith. He said he doesn't like interviews. Bro, I get it. Let me tell you this. When a nigga tell me he doesn't like interviews, I'm not begging nobody to do content. You feel me? Like, I, I, somebody was like, oh, well, he was on Aiden shit. My nigga, he wants to do Aiden shit. Like, you know, nigga, I spoke to him. He says he doesn't do interviews. Cool. Let him do what he got to do. You feel me? I spoke to Dirk. Dirk said around his album we could get it in. All right. Like, to me, Keith said no. Dirk said, wait till around my album. Nigga, I'm going to play, play it as is. I'm not begging no niggas to do no fucking interview because honestly, at the end of the day, when it comes down to it, bro, I, I don't. Oh shit, Danny Lay did see. <laughs> Yo, I'm lit. Yo, remember I told you I hit Danny Lay earlier in the stream? <laughs> she seen it. <laughs> She's, <laughs> She's seen the podcast. It's all good. <laughs> all right, all right, okay, okay. I gotta do. I gotta do a. Uh, uh, who do I got to do a podcast? Just name some names. Name some names. Name some names. Y'all got to tell me some good names. Man, I obviously, like, come on. Y'all know I want to do one with um Chief Keith. 
I, I do believe I could do one with with Lil Reese. You know, you know, it like for me, I want to do legendary shit. Like I've never been in the same. I've never, I've never talked directly to Keith like face to face. That's why I think he'll be dope. So you know, what I mean, that's why I kind of want. But you know, it is what it is. Somebody says the baby. I want to do the baby. Kanye G Herbo, yeah. I I know Young Boy I could do. Young Boy I could do. 100%. Fabio movie bow coming soon. We got that we got that. Yeah. Vince Staples, I do want Vince Staples. Pusha T. Is Pusha T dropping an album? I'll hit him up. Have me and Pusha T ever talked before? He probably hates a nigga like me. He probably like, yo, you a Drake stan. I don't that nigga hates Drake, like, with all his heart. Push. Uh... Should I hit a pusher? Vic Mensa? I'll do a Vic Mensa. You might have to give him a drug test before, though, because the last time I did with Vic Mensa, man, that nigga was like, he was off that cocaine. Feel me? Solo Minotti? Bro, I don't know how to get in. Yo, I would definitely do something with Solo Minotti. Where's Solo Minotti at? I'm going to follow him. So, by the way, I messaged everyone off my, like, I Am Academics account. If you don't know. Solo Minotti. Does he have Instagram? He probably doesn't. Yeah, I can't find my Instagram. No, oh, here he is. I think he is. Okay, okay. I hit, I hit him off my my um personal account. Okay. All right. So chat. So apparently, um, last night Fresh and Fit had on a bunch of interested individuals, and they had on Tommy Sotomayor. If you don't know, he's like a guy who's just been known for being combative with a lot of you know. Um, I won't say just overall black women, but he usually goes to task for the black women who are single mothers and ratchets and this and third. But some of his lingo, you know, usually makes him really radioactive. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, I kind of, I, you know, and, and I respect what he does, but I'm going to be honest with you. In the place I'm at in my career, I, I I don't know if I could be with a unhinged, untamed motherfucker who's who's just randomly shouting out, fuck these black bitches. Like, that's just not what it is. You know what I mean? It's like, now, if you got a problem with one person or a particular people and, you know, which I think he's a great orator. But, you know, I think a lot of times what Tommy's thing is, is that, like, a lot of people just kind of look at it like he's a wild nigga. I get what he's talking about for the most part. He's advocating for men to be in the household he's talking like i think he did some shit called fatherless america he doesn't uh, in my opinion i don't think he hates women but i do think that he feels that children that are born in a household just with single black women usually have issues and the way he approaches that based on his experience and other factors makes it seem like he really dislikes them again yeah, I know. I'm on Spotify, but I could have anybody on. I had Hassan Campbell on. Come on. Like, I could have anybody on. But with with Tommy, like, me having a guest on, I want to make it make sense. It's not about being inflammatory. You know, it's not about shock jocking. It's not about just saying shit like, fuck these black bitches. Like, it's not about that. It's about, like, if you have an ideology, if you have, like, a, a thought, if you have something that we could structurally, like, discuss, cool. But, you know, um, I, I think sometimes his plight gets, you know, degraded by the fact that he's oftentimes, like, caught in these moments where people are going to characterize his whole shtick as, oh, that's the guy who just says, fuck black women. Like, bro, there's no nuance to that. You know what I mean? I'm the guy who argues nuance constantly. But... 
I don't know if he could switch it on and off, right? Because I don't think he dislikes black women. I think he has a stance against families growing up in certain particular homes with certain particular women, and he's focusing on people who are black. Again, I don't know if I'm like maybe politic. Uh, I'm politicizing it a little bit too much, but. Um, The reason why I wanted um, Charleston White, Hassan Campbell. I, I didn't get Hassan Campbell on my podcast that he could just say over and over, rock that snap box or whatever his phrase is. That's not what it is. I felt like he had a legit explanation to what he had going on, and I think that's what he was he was going to lay down and try to deliver to people, and I, I, I like I understand it. So that's why I had Charleston uh, – I mean – um. Um, why am I blanking? That's why I had Hassan on my uh, my podcast. Same with why I would have Charleston White. Um, again with Tommy, if Tommy could, if you know, what I mean, it's a certain way of putting it across, and I don't want to also compromise anyone where they feel like for them to be on my platform, they have to water it down. But if the only way you could get your point across is just like by throwing out and blurting out these one size catch all phrases like fuck black women, bro, it's hard for me to fucking deal with. You know what I mean? Like again, I'm 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 someone who is as independent and I have all the creative control as I want to, but in Black History Month to just put and you know, give it, Amplify voices who are not nuanced enough to speak about what their entire plight is and just say fuck all black women or fuck all black people or fuck all black men. It's, it's tough. You know? You might as well get to the point. No, I think I know what I'm talking about. It's like, man, bro, I I like what Tommy says when he says fuck. I guess there's a. Um, I like what Tommy says when he says fatherless America. It's like sometimes I don't like his attacks because it, it kind of sums up the entire black race. And again, that's just not a fight that again, salute to everybody who does it. I'm not fighting that fight with y'all. Just like I don't care what y'all say. I'm not fighting that we don't fuck with black women fight with fresh and fit. I'm not fighting that fuck these black quote unquote bitches fight with Tommy Sotomayor. That's not my stance. So the fuck am I fighting that fight with y'all? Like it's like, nigga, I think differently. I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, I do want to point this out before we get to like what um I'm gonna watch your show for a little bit. But there was a lady on last night, fresh and fit, fresh and fit, Tommy Sotomayor. Let's go to fight. And okay. Great. Let's see if we can it's watch just, it. I'm like, where's the wall? You I actually got a question for you, Tommy, and Coochie I'm really not trying things. to offend you. If you start off saying that, <laughs> you are. <laughs> I hope that you really don't feel my type of way. I don't feel like that's what I was trying to tell her. Like, I was going to say that. That was going to be my closing. Anybody that knows me knows I like a conversation for the sake of the conversation. Okay. At the end of the conversation, I'm like, the I, I, I was in debate club. I, when you get through with it, you shake hands. When you get through playing basketball, you don't get mad because you won or you lost. It's a part of the competition. Okay. We are supposed to be here to entertain, enlighten, and educate a little bit. Okay. And so when I was talking to her, I was just trying, and the same with you or anybody else, I challenged them. Yeah. You should want to be challenged if you're having a discussion. Why is it that we can only talk to people who agree with us? Facts. No. Facts. Okay, okay. So let me also give you guys some dialogue, right, or some context. So Tommy does OnlyFans. This was news to me. So he actually donkey fucks women on OnlyFans, right? This woman to the right of him and to the left on our screen, she was on a previous episode with him with a light-skinned, pretty fair, light, bright girl, right? Apparently, and by the way, they were flirting with him the entire episode. You know, they were flirting with him, like, saying on camera, like, we're going to fuck him. For whatever happened, he, by the way, he's not from Miami. He went back to wherever he's from. He flew, I guess, both of them. 
I'm guessing. I don't know if this is to be true. But I think he flew both of them, and he ended up having sex with the light-skinned girl. According to him, the dark-skinned girl who's now sitting to the right of him yesterday felt a certain type of way that he was fucking with the light-skinned girl. Right? That's his story. Right? Her story is like, hey, that was never the case. But what happened is that she wasn't really interested in him. But then she was triggered by some of his conversations around and pertaining to black women. Obviously, she's a black woman. Now, as much as I say about fresh and fit, Tommy, I keep saying he's the ghost buster for black women, especially if they have a kid and they're single. Like, he holds no punches. He's not going to care about their feelings. He's slamming them, right? So if you ever watch his content, and he's been, by the way, he's an OG on, like, he's been around probably 10 times as long as Fresh and Fit. So, by the way, you know, I think Fresh and Fit has curtailed what they're doing in dating and relationships to a particular thing that's, you know, contemporary and in Miami. But some of their, like, you know, philosophies or ideologies, you know, especially when it comes to dating and single moms and third, meshes with what Tommy has said before. So, them having Tommy on the show is kind of like, it's like having an OG, if you ask me. Tommy's way more raw than them. Tommy does the whole punches. She had it in her mind that whatever is going on with them, I don't know how they end up sitting together, and this is where it, it devolves. So let me get straight to it a little bit, and then we'll um, try to figure it out. That was the post. It was um, specifically, you were saying something about... Um, I guess uh, she was playing you or something. Somebody that reported your page. I don't really know. I don't followed you about a week ago, so I really don't remember. It was around my dad's death, but I didn't want to see it on my TL because I'm like, damn, Tommy, like, I thought you was better than that. Better than what? Well, okay. I, I, was, I explained it to people like this. One, I don't understand why black women get to tell a black man because you're black, you can't talk about the, this group. When no, the, what, you can't. Well, hold on. If you, want me, if you go to ESPN, you're going to get sports. You're not going to get politics. You're going to get sports. So when people come to me, they're going to hear me talk about what I think is the problem. Okay. I think we have a lot of issues, and I think they are starting with the idea of our women. So I will speak on that. Now, you can mm -hmm. go to another guy and hear him tell, young Pharaoh tell you about how black women are God and then cheat on y'all and beat you. You can go hear that if you want. Mm -hmm. But I think it's odd that you're willing to listen to somebody tell you how great you are and you kings and queens and how you're the most beautiful thing on the earth. But you're not listening to somebody say the other side. It's the same thing I was saying on the discussion. Why not hear more than one side? So you can go to somebody else and hear them tell you all the things that make you feel good. Mm -hmm. But if you come to me, I'm going to tell you the opposite because why do you need to hear that? And the last thing is I grew up in a family. And most of us grew up around black folks. If you grew up with a black mom, a black grandma, a black aunt. Okay, no disrespect to Tommy. I'm going to try to fast forward it that we can save some time because I know they're live over here. Um, He's black. They eat it. I can get up in the front of a comedy set, and I've done it several times, made fun of the white people in the audience. They, <laughs> they eat it. They're mm -hmm. not sitting around wearing their emotions on their shoulders, and white men don't go around talking about some call me king because we created the earth. There's only <laughs> one group of people who keep giving themselves false praise. You want to get mad that somebody's talking about somebody wearing a Okay, weed. but we should have every right to feel that we you can. You can, and I have every exactly. right to say what I, but listen exactly. what you just said. Do I don't you, go you, to other You should know stuff. our background. No, but I. Yes, so if I would exactly. speak on so it, so we should I, have every right Shay, to Shay, feel he's that all way. Talking. No, I, I on, speak Shay. on it because I know the background. So if you can go on your stuff and talk about how great you are, and I don't go on there and tell you you can't, mm -hmm. why would you follow me, mm -hmm. see what I say, then come tell me what I can't say when you said you can say what you want? That's true, though. I always say this: Black women love to say how strong they are. Mm -hmm. If you're really strong. Other people's opinion shouldn't bother you that much. It don't bother you. You're the, it you're the most un, you're the most. But bothered, why would you want to talk about your own race? They're not listen. See what you're saying. Why would you want to talk about your own race? But if I sit there and said how great they were, you wouldn't say. What? By the way, keep in mind, um, he flew out this individual to fuck one time. So he flew out her and her friend. Remember, he fucked the friend. He didn't whatever with her. So there's some underlying tension that nobody knows. It, it, you live in America, but you... I'm going to skip past a little bit more that we could kind of get into the shit. Here we go. Only targeting black women. 
And I didn't like that because I'm like. So she is saying that I find out that you're making content attacking black women. I don't like it. She She's trying to confront him. A black person. I'm pretty sure white people, Dominican people, Got a post about Portuguese a white girl right people, now. everything Got a say about you. Is, is he you, diminishing them or perfecting them? Is he the literally difference? tagging the people. If you ever said no, that. Uh, hey, I'm going to be honest with y'all. As a, 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 this is one thing I do not like when it comes to like you know fresh and fit. I'll be honest with you, and I've told Fresh this: Fresh and Fit is not a conversation about race. It's about a conversation about dating and relationships. When it comes to race, it's a very slippery slope, and you got to check yourself. First of all, I'll be honest, and I'll put my cards on the table. I was born in Jamaica, so I'm not someone who was born in in the USA. I'm black, but I was born in USA. To understand <clears throat> all the historical and when I mean historical plights, like I don't think about the the lack of privileges that my grandmother used to not have here. Now I think about it in Jamaica, but not here. So when you think about like how the USA has, has progressed, a lot of people here they come in a lot of baggage. I say that to say I've told freshest mad times when it comes to race and relations. Don't even talk about it because, number one, you are an immigrant like myself, except you're much newer. And I don't think I think the depth of what you understand is much shallower. Right. I feel like, you know, not to toot my own horn, but I had to educate myself a, a, a lot after, you know, like, you know, we went through a time where race was just a huge thing. So it's either you're going to participate or not. Um, Myron, who is a person of color and also black, but there is clearly a immigrant background there as well and this is why i tell them to stay away from it i'm sorry tommy and this young woman right here they're black and what i mean by they're black and we're all black the, the majority of their descendants are from here they're understanding their outlook and their dark skin too colorism matters their understanding of all of of what's going on is much more colorized and contextualize more than anyone else you see everybody else sitting at this table this white girl whoever this uh well she might be i think she's light-skinned she might be black but this girl is spanish this girl's white nobody want to hear y'all talk about black issues i'm sorry that's what i definitely agree with nobody wants to hear the non-black person like shit sometimes i feel like there's depths that i could i could you know communicate with and i'm black but I wasn't born here. When you're not black and you Spanish, you some other shit, I get it, you might be a person of color, you might not be white, but nobody want to hear your own black issues. So when Tommy's talking and Shorty is talking, we don't want to hear y'all talking. I'm going to be honest with you. And that's just a fact. Y'all not black. Y'all fuck black niggas. Y'all not black. Y'all don't even have the experience. And to keep it real, like I remember Tommy said something really dope. I think he said it to he said to somebody who I really like too, because she's actually my ex's like cousin. But but it's, it it was like yo, if you Hispanic and you trying to like act like you identify with a dark skinned person's plight, you're fucking delusional. Like, in in the black community, people look at it like uh, there's a lot of niggas who if they can't get a white chick, they all want a Spanish chick. They all want like that Spanish chick with the silky hair. Y'all don't merely face the the same scrutiny, the same type of prejudices as somebody who's dark skinned and who has not be here. I hate when people try to lump themselves into this is why black people never get none in America, because people of color just lump themselves into you Spanish. Bro, white dudes want Spanish girls. It, it's, it's shown in a way higher amount in percentages than black girls. So, like, if you Spanish. If you Asian, you might be considered a person of color, but you don't know what a girl who is black got to go through. Just stop it. So that's why I tell them, I'm like, yo, this is a relationship show where the conversation could be devoid of relationship. No, no, be devoid of race. Talk about race. Talk about relationships. Because when y'all get to race, I don't want to hear none of these chicks talk about race. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. No, I'm not. Okay, I ain't gonna say you're tagging, See, but you're putting their you're picture. Just keep you're putting things. their picture on there. So you get. You the, are. I'm looking at my. You I'm are. looking at my Instagram right now. And I my follow. phone Instagram. 
I do you have a follow. Do you have a follow? But I'm looking at my Instagram The only right way that I felt some Instagram. way is because it's because like, it's no other race you go so hard on but your own kind. Because he cares. Like, uh, listen. If he care, he wouldn't go so hard You don't on tell it. me how to do what I do. I got my psychology degree. You didn't. So okay, if you but t- I did I've study psychology, so I know the I've had more people than you. I've had more people say I've of changed course, their life and saved their life. Of course, you're 30-something. I'm only 25, no, I'm but I'm very smart and wise with, from my the age. The point is, do it your way. Don't tell me not to do it mine. Of course. But I'm letting you know. I, but you I didn't do you care. go a whole different way about it. But I don't care. You do it. If you, know to, if you know how to build a house better than me, you build it. Don't tell me to do it. Okay, but I'm Damn. just letting you know. If I'm only but time that no- This is why I think, you see, this is why I think they should cut these conversations. You're having, there's a conversation between two darker skinned black people. Uh, and the majority of the panel can't even understand. They're isolated from it. And then now there is, is you're, out, you're all of a sudden having a conversation that should be probably, if y'all really want to talk about it, it should be some, off the cuff type shit, or y'all should have your own thing to talk about it. Everybody looking at y'all like like y'all a spectacle. No I see, if I'm to, going on my I Instagram, that's exactly I why I don't care I who follows, follows you. Because I don't care. I don't though. see nothing else but black but people I that you post care. on your page. So, so you don't talk about no I other race. I don't care. Anybody that wants to follow me, unfollow me now. I, I will say that you can't follow my bank account. I'm still rich, so I don't care. It don't matter. Money don't make nobody. No, apparently it does. If you do the shit you saying you do for it, money don't make nobody. <laughs> you gonna sit there and talk bad about the thing that you talked up? Jesus. All right, I'm gonna skip to save time. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I didn't know he would be here tonight. I always wanted to question him that. He texts my phone you and asks me and check up on me answer. just to make sure that I'm good and I respect that. But I don't reply because I simply don't respect him more because he's just the fact that what he posts on the gram and it's just like okay. what you texting me for and you do all this to try to play black women like they just just always ignorant it or don't fucking know shit. Like you can't do because that. Because he cares. Period. Think about it. Listen to what you said. If you care, you wouldn't downplay it. Okay, you care, you wouldn't he downplay you it. He's trying to benefit in your this image, though. I, 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 can we just shit. have this debate, please? Nobody else. But no, you're not. I, I'm glad she said that. Listen, this, this is a this is a black people conversation. I'm gonna be honest with you. No, no disrespect to Short. I, I know her too. Chill. Like, yo, listen. Thank no, no, you to no, me no. when I speak. Hold on. I, I want to say something though too. Uh, this is what I think this chick doesn't understand. If you ask me, the reason why Fresh and Fit has had her back on the show consistently. She is the prototypical example of a lot of what people, <coughs> of a lot of stereotypes people have black, about black women. <coughs> Sorry. So she thinks she's like, she's upset about people depicting black women, except, nigga, there's been mad, cute, well-spoken, well-thought-out, non-ignorant, non-aggressive black women that's came on the show, and they not coming on here with, to get the same type of airtime as you. You're the stereotype, my nigga. They got you because you the stereotype. Like, let's just be honest. So it's like she's fighting against something, but you're also perpetuating at the same time. You're saying that, yo, Tommy, why you going, you, why you keep going on black women? Well, I would just say to her, like, surely, like, I read the comments when you was on the last time. Everybody was like, oh, she's a loud black chick, but she cool. You're perpetuating the same stereotype. I'm going to just say that. Oh, that was my first Even question. now when I'm saying, when I say, I actually. Okay, let's get to the fight, bro. Fuck, <laughs> it's it's, it's really funny as qu- fuck because, like, he. We you get an answer to subject. a question. You know what? I, I, I would well, not I even get it you into a, that You subject. got an answer to a question. You ask, why do like, I post I what I post? You got an answer. Too, bad, but I'm okay. trying not to. Okay. This is the most ridiculous like, shit in the world. He talk about so many black people on his platform, but this nigga was trying to fuck a bad bitch like me. Like, stop playing. Like, do you hear me, this shit? He flew me to him. And your friend. And my friend. And so fuck your saying? friend. Why the hell are you, you sitting here doing me. this? And you didn't fuck me. But why are you doing this? Because you knew. Niggas was trying to act. Like, niggas was trying to act. Let me, 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 let me,
Yes, how am I trying to act? How am I trying to act? We need the race. How am I trying to act? How am I trying to act? This is why. This is why black bitches get kicked out of clubs and shit. I don't give a fuck because it's the truth. You're acting stupid. I'm not acting stupid. Yes, you are. I'm not. Y'all, he was trying to fuck me. Why are you getting so mad? This is stupid. Because you're being dumb. It's you're being ignorant. I'm not being ignorant. It's the truth. Bitch, you flew to my house. You said you wanted to fuck. Exactly. I didn't go. I didn't left tell the fucking you messages where I said this I wanted to fuck. This is what you literally did. No, I did What's not. What's the good? You Yo, told me stupid. that we were going this on a podcast dumb. for your Yo, show on OnlyFans. Wait, 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 wait. This is good. fucking dumb. I got all the receipts. Wait, 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 wait. Like, Sorry, that's Cap. Like, you think you fly into a nigga's crib to be on a podcast on OnlyFans? Shorty, the only thing that's going to be talking is your fucking pussy. It's going to be a lot of queefing. That's it. Like, come on, like, she didn't believe that. Come on now. Come on. Oh, oh right. no, somebody I can dead ass up, pull that shit out. Fuck, and she's a party right. party. Uh, no, right. I'm not a party party. Tell me what nigga shit it on Please, me. Shut up. Tell me Jesus what nigga Christ. shit no, because it's You want truth. people to know. You You're are mad. wanting to let somebody You're, know I tried to fuck you. This is stupid. Right. Right. seen this fucking clip right here you know how many times i've been up in a club with this nigga chris no no not chris i mean i'm um, fresh fresh in this one instance told me what he gonna do when anything pop off nigga it's his show there's gonna be fighting and all that type of shit they got assistants trying to jump in everybody try to jump in look what this nigga fresh does right now. that nigga stands up camera in hand Look, camera in hand. Get ready. Myron's over there already. Camera in hand, my nigga fresh, man. The fucking engineer, Big Mo, is in the building. Where the fuck is fresh at? Camera in hand. <laughs> That nigga. Look, 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 is it? Anyway, let's see if they address it on the shit. Uh, so we're gonna pull up the video and show you guys a clip of uh, the craziness that went down. But I'll read some of these chats. Oh yeah, shit. Uh, the guy that's crippled right now. Uh, Tommy. Literally. <laughs> he was limping in here, bro. It was. Uh, it was. It was actually no joke. Crazy. It's really bad. Uh, my my foot. Look like a big stuffed potato. Um, <laughs> Tell them about the numbing cream. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you bringing up our sex life? Is this just... <laughs> Jesus. My God. On OnlyFans. Uh, right. Uh, Find out. You know, shouts out to the shouts out to the scalps. I see some scalps in here. It's... So I feel safe. If I can see your scalp, I feel safe. <laughs> so when you when you got your scalp covered, I'm I'm I'm, I'm really afraid. So thank y'all. Uh, Push back edges. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just smell like a Foot Locker when in the scalp, but I mean, you know. But um, I I'm I'm all right. I laugh shit off, and hopefully my foot will go down in a few weeks. <laughs> Just keep laughing, it'll go away. I the guess. Mic, the mic oh, you didn't have to take it off. Was it the mic that fell on your foot? I don't know if it was the mic or her face, because they both was hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, um, God. You want to show them the picture? Of my foot? <laughs> you. They took it down. I can show it. No, but... I, got, I got it. Oh, yeah. It's... Oh. Chris, because y'all oh, think it's shit. a joke, but this is yeah, serious. It's, it's, you can show it on my foot. Chris, it's in the chat, man. We're not going to get flagged for nudity? 
Yeah. <laughs> 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 my skin. I mean, you know, you're right. That might have been why they took my Instagram down. I mean, it was a fun. They said it choked my foot. They was like, yeah, hell I mean, no. That's you, a form of pornography. It, it, it is. Look at that. It does look like a thing to If you're eating food, yeah, eating stop food. right now. That's <laughs> <laughs> my foot. It's almost about yeah. as bad as my foot. All right, ready? Let's, 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 uh, all right, hope y'all niggas ready. All right. Uh, Really yeah, swole. Yeah. You, got, you got to go see Ling Ling, man. <laughs> <laughs> she gotta, he got to wear them W's now. Yeah, man. Them y. The y. Yeah, them Y. The shoes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's <laughs> crazy, bro. No, but go check that out. You might have like a hairline fracture. So. I think so, oh, man. Be careful. And then the Feet people came over. Like, I, I was extra. The people came over. They sent the fire department <laughs> and the police. I didn't even lie. The police came and they drew their guns on me. No way. No, because they thought like I was being assaulted at my room. Oh. So I said, yeah, I, I did. It, it, it's a lot of things you can do. Oh, you can do, uh, you yeah. can do too little. Tell you me can do enough, say. and you can do the most. I, uh, I don't know. Anyway, um, I don't know, man. As I said, I don't know. I think I think by now Fresh and Fit have just ex accepted that you know these moments people aren't gonna make them look the best in. And by the way, they didn't do anything wrong if you ask me in, in this. Like you know, Myron helped out. Of course, Fresh ain't you know he doing this thing, but um, other people that work on the show they were all involved trying to make sure that this didn't get too ugly. But the narrative is already out on Fresh and Fit. It's it's like. People are positioning them against women and then against black women. So even though in the particular clip, I don't know if you guys watched it a few minutes ago when I played it, you know, the the, the girl got a little bit aggressive with Tommy, but that shit don't matter. It's all about narrative. So, you know, I kind of look at it and I look at it from a different approach than maybe they do. Let me tell you this. The first time you make the blogs... For the first time you make TMZ, that's a high. So even if like I, I remember Six Nine specifically said something to me, right? Six Nine said, Yo, act the first time you ever covered me, you covered me for Trippy calling me a pedophile. But I was so fucking happy that you covered me. Cause it meant I got to a level that academics covers me. And I tell you that because like when it comes to fresh and fit now. I think the, they, I hope they're not still at the point where they're thinking everything that goes viral is good. It's not good. You already went viral already. People already kind of know you a little bit already. Even if they don't want you, they know you a little bit already. You just don't want the reputation to, to, to precede you and prohibit anything you might want to do. So, you know, like, and I, and I remember talking to Fresh last night, and I was like, bro, yeah, y'all yeah, didn't do anything, but y y trust me, for if if I was managing our show, I don't think this is a good thing. It's not a good thing because it's going to carry on the narrative. Y'all yeah, don't want instances on your show where women and men are fighting. That's not good. And it might go viral, but you should be beyond going viral at this point. You get me? Because at the end of the day, Twitter is not going to look at it the way you're looking at it. They're going to look at look at it like, damn, why is this podcast fighting with women? even if the women kicked it off in this particular instance. So um, that's how I kind of look, I, I kind of looked at it. You know, I think it's kind of unavoidable when you kind of look at their setup. You have 12 people in the same room or living room, basically. Everybody's drinking. Everybody's a little charged up. And you're trying to hope everybody... Let cooler heads prevail. That's just not going to happen. So that's the thing I, I kind of look at. It. I'm like, yo, I, I, I hope they they realize that, you know, what comes with leveling up. And, and I see a lot of people who like them. Like, you know, it reminds me of chat niggas in a little bit of a way because your own audience don't want you to succeed too much. They like to feel like you belong to them. So they don't want you to be the biggest podcast in the world. They don't want you to keep accelerating. They want you to grow to the point where they still feel like you belong to them. 
And um, hearing a few, like, you know, uh, fans of, uh, of their podcast talk about, like, what they should do is, like, they're like, no, everything, no. Listen, you get to a point where now you got to start protecting your your assets. Whether it's like, yo, listen, we're going to have to cast women differently. Shit. You know, and by the way, I, I give Myron credit for this. Like, they definitely got some shit for, for metal detectors now in there. But shit, maybe security, maybe some other shit. It's just too much shit going on. And again, it's entertainment when nothing happens. It's something else when somebody got people in the building or got a gun on them and something does. So that's my only advice is like, you guys are growing, but trust me, what Jerry Springer was, was organized fuckery. It wasn't real. Let me just be clear with that. It wasn't real people fighting. Most of the time, they knew what was going to go on. They knew the parameters, and it could only get so wild. You don't want to have a situation where as much as you might be going viral from it, that it's now anything goes. That's very, it's threatening to your core business, if you ask me. Somebody said we was happy. No, 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 chat, no, no. I wasn't dissing y'all when I said, like, you know, it's a, what I mean for a portion of y'all is, like, for a portion of y'all, y'all wanted me to, like, keep just doing 2016 stuff, like, just bringing chicks on here, roasting them, this and third. But I want it to be a little bit bigger than that, right? I want it to, like, expand a bit. And sometimes your audience doesn't realize what you have to do to expand. Like, for example, like, could I have done some of the same stuff I was doing in 2016? Yeah. But I couldn't have been the person doing it. I could be facilitating, quote, unquote, kind of sometimes. But I couldn't be the person who was the fucking asshole. You know what I mean? Again, I would have developed a reputation that's worse than what I already have, which is not the best when it comes to women, right? So when I'm talking about y'all in terms of, like, an audience, sometimes y'all want the raw shit so bad that y'all don't realize when somebody's above the raw shit. Like, nigga, I wish I could do 2016 over again. But unfortunately, I got to tell y'all, if y'all like that shit, go watch that shit. Because I can't do it again. I can't. Now, can somebody else, can one of y'all come up and do it? Sure. But I can't do it anymore. I mean, it just is what it is. You know what I mean? It's like you you have to grow. So I'm only saying that when it comes to, like, Fresh and Fit because I do believe that there's some growth necessary. And the growth is just based on them realizing that, like, think about the other people who are they're competing with. Like, for example, I don't, and I love dissing this motherfucker now since he mentioned my name. Like, that bum ass nigga, Rulu Tuma, whatever his name is, nobody knows him. He's a fucking dweeb. Like, nobody knows him. Like, that nigga is a nobody, right? People know Fresh and Fit, for better or for worse, and they know Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels is doing videos with Future. You don't want to be the person that just have a bunch of ratchets fighting and fucking risking your life all the time. That's what I'm trying to say. There's there's some leveling up that could that could happen. And you could still keep it gotta keep it a little ghetto sometimes, but like, you know, um you wanna also show that this is not your ultimate form. You wanna keep going up. So, you know, salute to my boys. They're definitely doing their thing. I think I think they're learning on the fly and I think they're gonna make sure, you know, I think every time some shit like this happens is unexpected and they try to adjust. Feel me? Let me see what they're talking about on this show. What the <laughs> fuck, bro? Damn. A pimp named Blondback, okay? <laughs> uh, K- Kuma-san, uh, Kelsey, maybe we could go for some beef, patty, cocoa, bread, and carrot juice one day? Kelsey? <laughs> um, no, thank you. And that's that's more likely Jamaica, yeah. not me. Yeah, yeah that's Jamaica yeah. shit. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. Was a rulu Tomasi. That nigga's a fucking dweeb, a bum. <laughs>